Imagine a world where an entire species vanishes forever. Not millions of years ago, but in our own time. Every year, our planet loses animals that once walked, swam, or soared alongside us. But we're not talking about dinosaurs or prehistoric creatures. We're talking about species that lived alongside humans until just a few years ago. In this video, I'll tell you about animals that have recently gone extinct. Some due to natural causes, but many because of human activity. When were they last seen? What led to their disappearance? Stay with me until the end to uncover the shocking truth behind their extinction. Black Rhino The Western Black Rhinoceros was a subspecies of the Black Rhino native to the savannas and shrublands of West Africa, in countries like Cameroon, Chad, and Sudan. This massive mammal weighed between 1,800 and 3,100 pounds and stood up to 5.2 feet tall at the shoulder. Its most distinctive feature was its two horns, with the front horn being longer than the rear. These horns were used both for self-defense against predators and for digging in search of water. As a specialized herbivore, the western black rhino fed mainly on shrubs and branches, using its prehensile upper lip to grasp leaves and tender shoots. Unfortunately, its extinction was driven by relentless poaching, fueled by the high demand for its horn in the Asian market, where it was falsely believed to have medicinal and aphrodisiac properties. Despite conservation efforts, the last known population vanished in the early 2000s, and in 2011, the IUCN officially declared the species extinct. Chinese Paddlefish also known as the Yangtze paddlefish, this was one of the largest freshwater fish species in the world. It was found exclusively in China's Yangtze River and could grow up to 23 feet long and weigh over 660 pounds. With its elongated body and distinctive paddle-shaped snout, it had an unmistakable appearance. The Chinese paddlefish primarily fed on small fish, using its specialized snout to detect the electrical signals emitted by prey in murky waters. The species' extinction was driven by excessive overfishing and large-scale dam construction, particularly the Three Gorges Dam, which drastically altered its habitat and blocked migration routes. Despite extensive efforts to locate surviving individuals, the species was officially declared extinct in 2022. Giant Tortoise The Pinta Island Giant Tortoise was a species endemic to the Galapagos Archipelago in Ecuador. Known for its massive size, individuals could grow up to 5 feet long and weigh over 440 pounds. Its distinctive saddle-shaped shell allowed it to stretch its neck to reach high vegetation, as its diet primarily consisted of leaves, cacti, and fruits. This tortoise was a solitary creature with slow movements and an exceptional lifespan often exceeding 100 years. However, its population declined drastically with the arrival of human settlers, who introduced invasive species like goats and rats that competed for resources and destroyed its habitat. The last known individual, famously named Lonesome George, passed away in 2012 without leaving any offspring, marking the species' definitive extinction. Smooth Handfish the smooth handfish was a species native to the coastal waters of Tasmania, Australia. It belonged to the handfish family, a group of unique fish that walked along the seafloor, using their pectoral fins like limbs, instead of actively swimming like most fish. Measuring about six inches in length, it had a stout, flattened body with smooth, scaleless skin. Its coloration ranged from brown to yellowish tones, allowing it to blend seamlessly with the ocean floor. The smooth handfish was officially declared extinct in 2020, making it the first modern marine fish species to disappear. Its extinction was primarily caused by habitat destruction due to bottom trawling and marine pollution. Despite efforts to locate surviving individuals, no sightings have been recorded since 1802. Alagoas Foliage Gleaner this small bird was endemic to Brazil, inhabiting the tropical forests of the country's northeast. Measuring around six inches in length, it had brown and white plumage and a beak adapted for feeding on seeds and small insects. 
It was typically solitary or lived in pairs, nesting in shrubs and mid-height trees. The Alagoa's foliage gleaner communicated through a distinctive song, which it used to mark its territory and attract a mate. Its extinction was driven by massive deforestation in the Alagoa's region, which drastically reduced its habitat. In 2018, it was officially declared extinct. Also known as the Baiji, this freshwater dolphin was native to China's Yangtze River. It had smooth, bluish-gray skin on its back and a lighter underside, with a long, narrow snout. Adult Baijis measured between 6.5 and 8 feet in length and weighed around 300 to 500 pounds. They primarily fed on freshwater fish, relying on echolocation to hunt in the river's murky waters. These dolphins were shy and slow-moving, preferring calm, shallow areas of the river. They were usually found alone or in small groups. Human activities in the Yangtze River, including excessive fishing, dam construction, pollution, and heavy boat traffic, severely degraded their habitat. Despite conservation efforts, no confirmed sightings have been recorded since the late 1990s. In 2006, the species was declared functionally extinct. Atitlan Grebe This small, flightless duck was endemic to Lake Atitlan in Guatemala, making it particularly vulnerable to environmental changes. It measured about 18 inches in length and had strong legs and a short beak. The Atitlan grebe spent most of its life in the water, diving to catch small fish and other aquatic organisms. It nested among floating vegetation, rarely venturing onto land. Its extinction was primarily caused by the introduction of invasive species, such as the black bass, which preyed on its chicks and competed for food. Habitat degradation and hunting further contributed to its decline. The last confirmed sighting occurred in 1986, and by 1990 the species was officially declared extinct. Each of these extinctions serves as a reminder of the impact we have on nature. Biodiversity is fragile, and our actions can make the difference between the survival or disappearance of a species. We still have time to protect what remains. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to follow me until next time.